afternoons, Mr. Chris here. On today's writing assignment, we're going to do like a narration, like you're going to tell a story. So I've heard you guys tell all kinds of stories. You know what? When you're talking about it, they come out so nice, so clean. And then we go around sometimes we have difficulty. So on this one, what I'd like you to do is look at the pictures. This is what we're going to write a story on. Just this picture. You can do any you want. This can be happy, fun, scary, whatever you want to do. But it's going to be a little short Halloween story. So the first thing I want you to do is don't write yet. Think about it. Come up with a little story. Say it. You can say it out loud to someone. You can record your voice saying it. Just say the story because I know you guys do. When you guys tell stories, you guys got a lot of interesting things. So for an example, if I were to write a story on here, I could write something like start up and want to make sure we have our topic sentence here. And what we're going to talk about is I could write something like, it was a dark, cold night. That could be my first one. I'm going to capitalize it was a cold, dark night. What do we put in the end of our sentence? Oh, here it is. Now, from there, I can read away. It's a cold, dark night, but I can actually hear what we want to say about where we're going, who we're with. What is my concept? Guess what? It's not me. Maybe you mentioned that part yet. But I just told my story is it was a cold, dark night. Me and my friends are going to trick or treat. So I can put that down. I'm going to capitalize me and my friends. We're going. So, so far, it's the only thing we ever made. We didn't have something happen, it was scary. We could say, hey, we're going to the house, and guess what? They have a full side recess cups. We could say something about, there's a party going on there. There's something in Halloween party we talked about. We could talk about big movies, we could talk about bats flying in the air, we could talk about anything. But then you make sure you get down your details, and want to get a few senses and then you explore it, want to hear that story. Then put a little conclusion on there. You guys know all kinds of conclusions because you can write a lot of books, so you know you can put anything you want on there. My idea is we all went home with bags full of candy. That could just be it. Otherwise, it could be something like the night didn't turn out like we thought, and I got really scared and ran home. So it could be anything. This is a story. So I'm going to just finish my off with, and we all went home, so there's going to be more senses in here. And I'm going to count this. We all went home with full bags of candy. So, you guys are going to write a story? I know you guys have great ones. I don't even know. Number one thing, you guys did great on this last time, is we're going to put it on a piece of paper. We're not going to write anything on here by that day now, just for an example. So, I think all of you did a great job on that. So, let's just keep it up. And whenever you're done, hit the check button so you're done. Good luck, and I look forward to reading your stories.